Okay, everybody, how you doing? Hi. Clapping, noises, Hi. happiness, excellent, excellent, excellent. Tech Alley, man, this is the coolest Tech Alley we've had in a while. We're in the desert, it's hot. So, a uh, few housekeeping things. Uh, first things first, my name is Josh Stacy. Uh, there was a Josh, oh hey. There was a Josh Copeland doing it before and Josh Levitt set this up. So if you yell Josh here, you might see a few heads turn around. As uh, just a heads up, on Wednesday at the Innovation Center, we're doing an open source mixer for non-technical and technical people. We'll have at least probably three to five engineers there and then a bunch of people who aren't engineers so we can all talk about great things to do in Vegas and uh, probably buying pizza too. So. Uh, if that excites you, great, and if not, then that's also fair. So, uh, if you are wanting to do that, there's the QR code at the entrance there. These are all also passed around. Raise your hand if you already registered. See? See, they're coming. And you guys can invite other people too. So, um, the rules, the rules, the rules. So we have three great startups here, I think. I don't know. Gabe was in charge of finding them. They seem all right. <laughs> So the purpose of these events is to, I'm gonna stop walking around since there's a camera. All right. The purpose of this is to provide an environment where people can present stuff um, that may or may not be super polished. So we try to be supportive. Um, supportive also does mean helping along. So we're gonna go ahead and engage that way. However, one of the fun things is if I start clapping, what do you guys think you should do? Wow. All right, let's practice. Imagine I'm clapping and then what happens? Okay, there's not an exception for if they're talking. In fact, it's a part of why we do it. So, uh, big uh, thanks to the presenters. We've got uh, Trenton with, oh, oh, be smart, be social. Stay mobile, stay social. Stay mobile, stay social. And then we're gonna have Sean with Clarative. He's got an update. He's presented here before, got a really cool project. And then we've got Martin with Gulp It Out. So. Uh, they're gonna have five to ten minutes to present then there's gonna be some Q&A and then they'll be clapping and then the next person will come on the board So uh, before we get going who wants to hear a terrible joke you can share at the grocery store? Sure. Okay, okay this one I've never presented in front of this many people before uh, Okay, okay, so this guy goes to the grocery store gets himself a jar of peanut butter carton of eggs and a block of medium cheddar cheese and he's checking out and the cashier looks at him says you must be single he goes well yes how'd you know she goes you're hideous <laughs> <laughs> oh mr rex we got some la okay okay all right so Trent, i've warmed them up as best i can go ahead and come on up here's your mic a big round of applause for trenton for coming out here Thank you, Thank you. Now, I, I left out an important detail for him. It's a two mic scenario here. So here's your other mic. Okay. Got it, got it. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Awesome. All right, let me uh, Let me just pull up. Oh. It's. All right, special guest Gabriel stepping up. I'm not gonna take this out of his time. We're in a good mood. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm show the and the blue tint, by the way, that's not entirely on him. We've got a, uh, for those on YouTube, there's a lot of stage lights helping change the coloring on it. How many nerds does it take to? Nope. This is it. This is my personal email. Oh, damn. I'll, probably, I'll just do the deck. There you go. Just go ahead and type it in right there. La da 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 da. Let me just do. I'll start off with the. Fun fact: One time I saw Josh Levitt sing the love song in this very theater while he was seducing a Founders Live crowd, showing off how fun Vegas was. All right. All right. Are we ready, Trenton? I'm ready. I'm okay. Ready. I on your mark. Get set. Go. Well, thank everybody for being here. Um, I'm Trenton Samuel. I'm the founder and creator of SMSS Token technology uh, so i'm really grateful for the tech alley community and being able to show you guys a project that i've been working on for 
pretty much over a decade now, um, but it's gone through its phases. It's gone through its stages of development. And so um, I'm really here just to give you guys an update on where it's at right now and um, what we're planning to do for the future. So I'm gonna run through the deck first and then I'll kind of give you guys the current version of our concept and kind of like talk about the flow as far as how new users come into the into the system so uh, the new ROI of social media which basically is a concept I started working on out of college um, I grew up in Los Angeles I went to school at Cal State Dominguez Hills and my first job in college was network marketing so I started getting into sales I started realizing like I was passionate about sales but ultimately I wanted to figure out like what I was really passionate about in the tech space and my first job out of college I was working at Xerox I took a, I took a job with Xerox um, I worked there for about a year and then that's when I really started to get more passionate about social media because I started seeing like social media was like the first wave of this new technology that everybody's using fast forward today everybody's using AI or you know there's blockchain now but back in 2012 2013 social media was like the first technology that like just captured my imagination like all the things that could be done so the new ROI of social media is basically return on interaction so most people talk about return on investment but this concept is more so about how you interact on social media how you engage um, you know in that whole process of just content to engagement and talking to people on social media so let's get into it uh, the problem and the opportunity that SMSS token is focusing on is small businesses that lack technology um, I've talked to a lot of small business owners some are in this audience here uh, but a lot of tech a lot of business owners are afraid of technology or they fear it or they don't understand it or they haven't really fully adopted it so SMSS token technology is all about making it easy to understand providing education and making um, making the platform easy to learn and easy to use so that way businesses can use social media more to grow their grow their business in a creative way so the insight that we have is from just talking to business owners um, typically like when I engage with a small business owner they fill out a questionnaire like if you go to smss.network there's a questionnaire there's a list of questions and basically this is how we gain insights to what business owners are dealing with, what they're struggling with, and ideas to help them like customize a social media strategy to their business. So we, we're using these insights uh, to drive this opportunity. And this opportunity is really aiming to bridge the gap. We want to empower entrepreneurs like everyone here, small to medium size, even big size companies. We want to help drive more growth through social media where businesses can get more customers without spending a lot of money on advertising so like for me i built my whole business without ads i started out on twitter then i moved over to linkedin and then i moved over to facebook and with facebook that's how i was really able to build a community build my personal brand build trust and build an audience and, and basically create a foundation for the community um, and so that's the opportunity, which is bridging the gap, empowering businesses so they get more education, how to use social media outside of just ads or paid ads, and really have a, have a strategy towards building a community um, that's also data-driven as well. So um, our value proposition with SMSS token is to basically provide a comprehensive AI platform. So this AI, this AI is gonna have all your insights It'll basically uh, customize towards your responses that you give our questionnaire and it's going to take the responses in the questionnaire from the questionnaire and build you a plan, start work like suggesting content. It's going to help you like make everything easy. Like that's basically the point of AI, even though I know a lot of people are afraid of it. But like we want to I shouldn't say a lot of people, but just the people I've talked to, some of them are afraid of it. But I really want to show them that the technology is here to help us like it's actually here to help our business and especially for me personally I can really only speak for myself like technology has kept me from doing things I don't want to do you know it, it keeps me from working jobs I don't want to have or you know being places I don't want to be so at the end of the day if we learn how to use the technology more and more it'll do the same thing for business owners 
instead of them having fear. Uh, so at the end of the day, we want this platform to be seamless. So it's a seamless platform. It's all AI driven. It's gonna connect you to all your social media. It's also gonna connect you to other technology as well. Uh, new tech, we're building a community of new platforms as well. Uh, but all the major social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, TikTok, we wanna have YouTube, Google, basically all in one location. And so, uh, you know, that's time saving and then that's also cost saving versus having to be on all these different platforms or go to all these different places. The platform is also gonna have training and education in it. Cause again, that's a big part of what I do, especially working with business owners that aren't using social media every day or they're not using AI every day. So we wanna have the AI work off of your insights. So every user experience is unique to the user. It's unique based off of your actual business. So like when I started doing this, the, the most interesting part was like, business owners would come up to me like, oh, can you market my company? You know, start bringing me leads. And then I ask them, tell me about your company. And then they get mad at me. And I'm like, you want me to market your business? And you want me to bring you leads, but you can't even tell me about your company. So how am I gonna market your business? So it's like, that's the whole point of this platform is like, whatever you're working on, whatever product or service you have, the, infra, the, the starting point is you. So like, the more you know about your own product, the more you know about your own service, the AI is gonna tailor the plan, it's gonna tailor your content strategy, it's gonna tailor your data uh, to create more outputs and create better prompts for you based off of that information. So the benefits, like I said, is time savings, cost savings, and then also providing incentives. Where, so the token, you hear me say token a lot, um, it's backed by a token as well. We, we created a token a couple years ago to incentivize users in the community, drive more engagement to the technology using the crypto token. So I don't know how many people are familiar with the blockchain as well, but this platform is basically taking, you know, it's merging three different types of technologies and bringing it all to one. So it's an integration between social media, blockchain and AI. So the magic, again, like we talked about, is using the technology, AI powered, social media across platform where we're letting the AI basically run your social media. It's a lot of business owners that I've talked to, they're usually the one, only ones doing everything or they have like a team or somebody like, you know, out of college or a nephew running the social media. And so there's holes within that where it's not really done efficiently or creatively it's not really done from an analysis perspective. So I feel like that's really where the AI makes a big impact because AI can process data faster than most of us, you know, so at least that's my personal opinion. But uh, at the end of the day, there's a lot of proprietary data back in the platform. Um, I, I, like I said, I started doing this back in 2015, just really surveying business owners, um, just asking them questions, like working for free, basically. That's how I started. and. Um, from there, I started realizing like, there's a lot of data when it comes to talking to business owners. There's a lot of questions to ask. There's a lot of um, information, especially depending on like what industry or what specific niche that business is in. So I feel like this is really cool because everything is custom. You know, it's like, you don't want your brand to look like any other or sound like any other brand. You want it to be unique to like your voice and your passion and that's where the proprietary data comes in at where we're actually using exclusive data from our technology to drive the AI, um, as well as user generated data. So like we're, we're, the AI is gonna help you monetize your data from the platforms we all use every day, like Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, or YouTube, TikTok. You know, users are constantly on social media every single day. But what do we actually do with the data? You know what I mean? So like with this AI, we want to have users download their data from Facebook, download your data from any social media that you use. And even if you don't know how to do that, like we'll help you, we'll teach you, we'll educate you on how to actually start the process of owning your data from social media versus just giving the data to the big tech companies and letting them, you know, advertise to you and make more money off of you basically. So we want you to, we want the users to start learning like 
the data is what runs the tech, you know, especially social media. Thank you. Wow. Please, thank you for that. All right. So, first of all, good job. You. Uh, that was all of ten minutes. I have a. I have a. I'm pausing the time for a second because I have a, a host question. No problem. How far did you get into your presentation so far? Uh, probably about like three more, uh, four more slides. So like eighty percent, ninety percent, seven percent. Probably sixty. All right. Cool. So it's little 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 feedback yes sir people always think they have more time than they do in fact martin who's going to be presenting i believe last one of the pieces of advice i gave him a while ago he was trying to go get all the words out but like we can't keep up like a few concepts so anyway with that i'm going to give you 60 seconds to wrap up whatever you want then okay. we'll do q a so go Appreciate it. awesome awesome all right so let me move on uh, so this is our business model it's pretty robust from monthly subscription, annual subscription, um, agency services. We want to provide consultations and trainings around the AI because the tech itself, like people buy technology all the time, but they don't necessarily use it. We want users to actually use this. And that's why the token is an incentive. Um, this is basically just our go-to market plan. 40% of our users are on Facebook, 35% referrals. 20% um, email and basically this is the end so the SMSS user network is also the SMSS management team so we want this to be decentralized and running off of our network or our power as a community versus looking for large institutions or major third parties like the platform is to empower us to actually drive the results all right, we got time. For, so I'm because of the YouTube video only recording basically at this point. Anything Trenton or I say, I'll be repeating the question. What questions do we have? Hey there, what is the happy path like user flow? I pay you money, I get started. What is the process to getting you know the value? So I'm gonna restate the question. What is the happy path to money? User flow? The user flow. Like I sign up for the service. All right, start up, what, what happens? I go to sign up, okay, great, let's hear it. No, it's a great question. So, um, so right now, you would go to smss.network and you would fill out the questionnaire. After you fill out the questionnaire, we would schedule a 15 to 30 minute Zoom meeting or Google Meet, and then we would just basically go through the answers together, plug it into the AI and start working on a plan. And um, that's pretty much it, you know, from there. It's just a flow off of your own data and then provide you that information and access to the AI. Got it, so the end, the end process or the end service would be consulting, basically? Pretty much, consulting, and then once you start using the AI, then from there it's all consulting after that, because we, we really want to automate the whole process where it's just you and the AI, and then I can remove myself from having to meet with you or you know whatever questions you have for me, you can have for the AI. All right, James. What are you automating? I have a startup. What are you automating? What's your value to me? So the question is, what is being automated? If I have a business, what is it automating for me? It's like another great question. So just the whole flow, like for the business owners in the crowd, like if you ever talk to a social media management company or you were thinking about hiring somebody from social media, we were automating that whole process from strategy, consulting, data analysis, and then automating the content creation part, uh, connection uh, or I would say integration across the platforms where you can schedule your content, basically create the content, schedule it, and have it analyzed at the same time. Automated. Follow-up? Uh, follow brief follow-up. I'm doing this to trim, beating them up. Yeah. I know very well. Yeah. Um, so what you're gonna do for me is using AI, you're gonna help me automate and automatically post across all media and social media. Yes. Excellent. All right. Uh, we've got Chris. Very quick. Um, so you've been at this 10 years. How much revenue have you made? So um, that's another good question. So the question was how much revenue has he made? And I believe he could say zero and it would still be fine. But let's hear it. Well, I mean, I got to eat too, right? I mean, yeah. I got to, you know, I haven't had a traditional job in about eight years, nine years. So since then, I've probably done over 800K in revenue. 
Hell yeah. Thank you. Round of applause for revenue. Appreciate that. All right, Gabe has a question. Uh, my real yes. question, my ladies. My question was, if it's about social media automation, what role do the tokens play and why are they necessary? Wow, that's another great question. So like, the whole idea is to incentivize your behavior, even when you're using Facebook and LinkedIn um, or the major social media. So the more, the more output, the more content you post, the more engagement, we wanna break that down into incentives that reward you. Because every, the average person spends two to four hours a day on social media, but the average person doesn't get anything for that time. It's almost like a part-time job, a full-time job. So if we can monetize the time that you're already spending on social media, then it just makes it more seamless or more rewarding. All right, because that's it. Trent's going to put the mic in his hand down, and he's going to hand the other one to the designated Sean Gigramosa. All right, round of applause for Trent. That was a great job, great job. Now, we're also going to have a little swap around. It's going to take Sean a sec to get everything squared away. Gabe's going to move his computer. Does anybody have any questions in general? Do you have your own adapter? Do you you might be thinking, how do I get to present on this? You can go to the meetup, and then... Or you can talk to oh, Gabe. Yeah, Gabe's in charge of managing all of that, by the way. Yes, James. Oh, the builders group. So the builders group is uh, currently at yeah, sure. war with the robotics group. We've been trying to is there, raise your hand if you've been to one of the robotics meetups. Okay, okay. I have beef with those people. Are you ready to hear my beef? Well, raise your hand if you'll help me with my beef with the robotics people. I want to love them. They're in Vegas. We're all friends here. So the, the beef I have with them is every time I schedule a builders group, they do it for the same day. In fact, I did it the week before Tech Alley this month. Anybody want to guess when they did theirs? The exact same time. Yeah. So what okay. I've decided to do is we're doing Wednesdays it. now. No, it's, it's the lovely Mr. Ben Lefsky, who's I'll, in charge of I, events it, calendars, a, he said Wednesdays are usually yeah, empty. Sure so that's how we're trying yeah. to deal with that. But what we're doing is that the Wednesday mixer is actually a byproduct of the builders group. A bunch of folks like building things, and then they're like, hey, we'd like to have some problems to solve. So we're working on getting some non-technical and technical people. You should come. It's a great time. QR code at the front on the way out. And with that, Sean with Clarative. Oh, I thought you were going to finish. <laughs> anyway, hello, um, everyone. Uh, my name is Sean Gigermosa. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Clarative. Um, this is my second time, I guess, uh, demoing here at Tech Alley. The first time was last year. Um, that first version of the product was very rough, I want to say. Um, but got a lot of feedback and I'd love to, again, just uh, provide a quick update and show you guys our, I guess, our live service version of, uh, of the platform. You guys are probably asking, so what's Clarative, right? Um, so basically with Clarative, we analyze 100% of your sales calls to generate insights. So you know exactly what your customers want. And why is that? Is it not moving? There. Sales teams right now are missing a lot of insights that's costing US companies $13 billion. According to a study by Salesforce, 75% of sales calls go unrecorded or unanalyzed. I mean, like raise your hand here out of all the Zoom calls that you've had, how many has actually gone back and watched them? Three, four? How many just forget them altogether? It's just like, okay, I have a Zoom call, like I don't even want, I don't care, right? And probably the ones that raised your hand, you would only go back to those calls if your boss tells you, hey, there was a problem, that client was really mad, Tell me what happened. Is that accurate? Yeah. So again, according to, because of that, according to Accenture, about 57% uh, of customers believe that their salesperson do not understand them. 
don't know what their needs are, which again, based on bare metric study, causes 9% reduction in monthly recurring revenue for, comp uh, for companies. So Sean, what's the uh, solution, right? So what did we do? So as I mentioned earlier, Clarative automates call analysis to improve the sales rep's performance. What's cool about what we do is we don't just summarize the call like what you get in Otter, Fireflies, Fatum, Read, Zoom. We can actually pinpoint who do you want to review? Who do you want to look at? Do you want to look at the customer? Do you want to analyze the needs of the customer? Or do you want to look at the salesperson and try to analyze how that person can get better? And with Clarative, we can increase, because of the automation of analysis, increase productivity 20%. We have our solution, our architecture is tailored to each business's process because every, bus every business is unique. We can, again, increase win rate by about 15%. And all of that makes it so that your sales cycles are 20% shorter. So now let's look at it. Let me go to just the dashboard initially. So over, I've been working on Clarity for about a year, 18 months. Um, when we first started, we got so much data. It was like, we had outcomes, solutions, details, meetings, uh, all of that. And then from all of our conversations with our users, beta, alpha, pilot users, we were like, there's really three main things that people care about. There's the topics of discussion, the meetings themselves, and what actionable solutions can I actually get out of it. So with that, a meeting is analyzed in Clarative. So we're connected to, for example, hold on, this is the wrong one. There's a specific one I want to. Here. So we don't just summarize the meeting. What's really important for us is we also look at sentiment. Again, sentiment based out of the tone of their voice. Is it positive, is it negative? And what I call the now what? Because, you know, like what are you supposed to do, right? So you have a meeting, you, you summarize it, you do all of that stuff. Now what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to close that prospect? So this is what we do differently. So we can offer solutions based out of the need. So in this specific case, offer a tailored de uh, demo of Clarative, Claritin, unique ability to aggregate and synthesize conversation data. Um, they were using Fatum, com uh, provide a competitive analysis to Fatum, introduce a pilot uh, program for this company I had a conversation with this, uh, uh, this startup last Friday. We close, they're starting on Tuesday. And this is from this analysis that I did with our first call with Brian and telling me, okay, well, what was, you know, like what was important to him? So when he said like, okay, well, I need a demo on the aggregation. I showed him this. Okay, this is how we aggregate all the information from your, uh, from your conversation. And it's like, okay, Sean, that's cool, all right? Let's say pain points. Why is it slow? There. He said, okay, well, there's two meetings that says difficulty in extracting sales conversation. Now, what does that mean? Okay, well, in these two meetings,
here are the actual parts of the transcript that that specific point was discussed. You go to another one. So from a sales perspective, you can really identify, okay, well, this is what they mean, right? And from a high level perspective, you can see what are the topics that really resonate with your customers. So for example, I know for mine, conversation analysis, sales strategy, stakeholder engagement, and all of those topics are the ones that all of my prospects are talking about. And this can then help me build a, a plan on how to approach each and every one of them. And with that, there's so much more to see, but I only have 15 minutes, so I'd like to open it up for questions. So my, my personal question I have is, uh, how much is this fine service? So for example, uh, I do a lot of discovery calls with clients, and frequently there are complicated technical projects for which uh, Gabe keeps great notes, and then um, I ask Gabe questions. So how much would, would, would this be? So we have a different, um, a different rev a revenue model. So we're using kind of like, like our current revenue model doesn't care about how many users, how many per seat. But now for, and this is what we're offering um, for the Vegas ecosystem, it's $40 per seat um, basically forever because like how much it is right now is around 615 for 50 hours for unlimited seats. $40 per what? Per seat. Per month? Per month. Um, All right, what other questions do we have? You, my man. So, uh, this uses uh, the transcript from a video recording, and it takes that information and is able to create all these different actionable items, is that right? That's correct. So it's not just a transcript. So we can basically integrate to um, Zoom, Google Meets, or Teams. And once it's recorded in, in those three platforms, you basically look at, let's say, your calendar and find one meeting that I recorded, and then click, click a button here to analyze. So you don't have to upload and all, do all of that stuff. We made it really simple. Um, to uh, um, to get insights from those uh, from those terms. but if you have let's just say a video or an audio recording that's not on all, any of those, you can upload it as well. So we have that upload button for it. I guess the gap there, where my concern is, is if, let's say that a lot of the sales process is not going to be done on a video call. It might be done for lunch. It might be done on a phone call. It might be done you know, a wide range of different ways. That is not going to be tracked. So you're right. So like, our, so the, the question was a lot of the sales process uh, is not necessarily done in Zoom. It could be done in person, over lunch, um, on a phone call, um, or in, in every different uh, iteration of that. So like right now, our, our pure focus are on Zoom conversation or, or our remote conversation. However, the reason why we have the ability to be able to upload audio or video files is let's say um, I have um, like a small recorder that I bring with me all the time whenever I'm, I'm in uh, kind of like live conversations and I ask them, hey, is it okay to record uh, this conversation? And then th I take that, it's a little Sony recorder and then upload it here or um, even your phone, right? So your phone has a voice recorder that I've used as well. Um, and those formats are uh, work, with, um, work with our platform. All right, Sonny. Real quick. Uh, so I assume you use an AI analysis, right? Yes. So is it the idea that as you get more data, more use, that the AI essentially will become smarter in giving feedback? Is that a correct assumption? That is exactly the and correct. And if you could repeat the question. So um, 
it uses AI to analyze, and the idea is like as you have more conversations, does it, does it get smarter? Um, that's our vision. Um, so what we are actually planning to do is as it analyzes and generates these topics and insights, we're actually building a knowledge graph um, on the back end. And with this graph that looks like sort of like a brain, we can then train an LLM to, um, to basically get smarter that's uh, trained with your business data just for you. That is not there right now, just to be totally honest. We just have the first part of that process. I have a question for you too. So if this is continuously building, if it's training on your business and all the conversations that you're having with your business and sales calls, or at least sales in general, is one of the biggest drivers of growth for a business in general. It's like, if you don't have sales, you don't have a business, right? So can this proactively suggest future moves? Um, not right now. Uh, however, like that's the idea of this part right here, is that as it learns, we can then refine the model to be able to do that. Because like all of the, the things that we're doing, right? So for example, the, uh, the topic dashboard based out of like conversation, everything is based out of the conversation and everything is aggregated and synthesized based out of conversation. So if there's new things and it identifies several different, um, let's, see, let's look at this one. Here, it identifies several different solutions. So this is why I'm saying, like it can, it can generate an outcome. Like what can I get out of those topics? And from that topics, generate like what is the value? And from that value, what are, you know, what are the solutions? So improved sales efficiency was a value that it, it, it found. And what are the solutions that we can implement? If you see, again, this is our data. AI driven topic identification, um, sentiment analysis, sentiment indicators. You'll see a lot of the things that you see here is in the platform because we used Clarative to help build our, our solution. So we, you know, like we use it for our conversations. Okay, we're gonna have to have a trial by combat for the last question because there's only one left. Okay. What's your long term vision with this? Like, are you wanting acquisition? Are you wanting to go public? Like, where do you want to take this? Repeat the question. The, what is the long term vision of Clarative? Is it acquisition? Is it going, to pub, uh, going public? Um, so the idea has always been to build a sustainable company that will last beyond me. So um, you know, that I would say the first priority would probably go IPO um, as an organization. And if in the future there is a chance that if you know, like I get tired of it and somebody wants to buy me out, that's fine too. What a great presentation. And your first one was good, too. I was here for your first one. What the Sorry. hell, bro? It fell. It was too heavy. What the hell? Gravity strikes again. I know. Always lurking around every corner. Okay. All right, everybody. Uh, round of applause. How good was that? I think that's great. You know, I, I love Las Vegas. Normally, I'm wearing my Las Vegas hat. I'm wearing my Las Vegas shirt. Got married in Vegas. I just friggin' love it here. And I love seeing neat products that are actually really, really useful. Uh, raise your hand if you think Clarative would make any aspect of your job easier. All right, and not everybody's gonna need that, but yeah, it's, uh, actually, I had a, we had a client recently that um, they recorded, I hate it when people record my Zooms. What is it with products that I don't, like supporting industries I don't like? We had the LinkedIn, spam marketing tool at the end of the last one, Gabe. Now we've got people getting encouraged to record conversations. Although, check, well, the check. client did the recording and it sent us the notes. It was really helpful because there was like four things we needed to do. It's like, here's the, the features that they're, I'm like, oh, it's cool. I was like, made me think of you. All right, so I'm gonna introduce Martin just a little bit here. Martin's a great guy. He, uh, he was in the Navy. <laughs> he also takes pictures of people, does all sorts of fun <laughs> things like that. They, I used to work as a non-consensual photographer, as a private investigator. He gets the permission, apparently. That's easier, probably. So, Gulp It Out is a really cool concept that he's been working on. It's taken a few iterations. 
And how long ago did you present here? It's been a minute. About two years ago. All right, so round of applause for Martin, everybody. Thanks, everyone. I want to say uh, thanks to Josh and Gabe over here as well, and to you guys. Thanks for coming out to uh, Tech Alley and supporting. So I appreciate you. <laughs> so uh, gulp it out. Share, learn, connect. Live one-on-one -on -one interactions. What is it? What is Gulp It Out? Well, Gulp It Out is an application that helps, that helps stimulate neuroplasticity through short, personalized self-introduction videos that help facilitate more meaningful connections and knowledge exchange between others. So what is it and why the name Gulp It Out? Well, Gulp It Out is a metaphorical phrase suggesting taking the act of uh, a deep breath, mustering enough courage to be able to share something important or personal with others. So in the uh, context of the app, gulp, taking the time to uh, share your knowledge, expertise, observations, and personality with others. It out, putting your message out there for others to be able to see, uh, see connect with, and learn from. The name Gulp It Out encapsulates the idea of embracing the moment and confidently sharing who you are through short personalized videos, facilitating genuine connections and knowledge exchange. How does Gulp It Out work? Well, you create and share your 30 to 60 second self intro video, add tags, a brief description and upload. From there, you'll be able to explore the community watch other people introduce themselves through their self-introduction video. Once you catch a vibe or you pique someone's interest through their self-introduction, then you'll be able to connect live, one-on-one, -on -one, like a FaceTime. So what to say in your self-introduction video? Well, just share who you are. Share your personality, your stories, your expertise, you know, what your passions, and then um, also have a call to action, why people should connect with you, who you want to connect with, and why. So it'll be like TikTok, where you'll be able to scroll up and just go through videos and just watch other people introduce themselves. And you'll be able to connect live one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> So who's it for? Well, Gulp It Out is pretty much for anyone who wants to co connect with others. Right now, we're in, we're in Tech Alley. So Gulp It Out is for all of us here because we're here for a reason. We want to network, connect, and move our ideas and uh, our endeavors forward. And how we do that is we have to be able to engage with others so we could acquire the knowledge to be able to execute on those. And so it's for entrepreneurs and freelancers like, like us, uh, startup founders like Sean and, and Trenton over here, and uh, also for remote workers and recent graduates and students, anybody who wants to share knowledge, pretty much. And why gulp it out? Why? Well, currently in our current uh, social media landscape, there's a lot of uh, superficial connection out there. Not really, no one's really connecting deeply. So with Gulp It Out, you'll be able to connect deeply by understanding who you are connecting with, right? And it's also a way to be able to build credibility. People wanna know like what you're making, like, like whatever you're making, whatever you're, you're, uh, um, whatever, uh, you're producing, for me, I want to know who, who's, who's, uh, who's that person first before I want to know what they're building or what they're selling. The value proposition. Gulp It Out is currently going to be the only platform that, that uh, focuses on self-introduction videos, live one-on-one -on -one connections. Um, and then we're focused on streamlining these connections. So we want to save time. So if you have an idea, if you have a question in mind, doesn't matter what time of day it is, and you want to get it out there and keep your creativity going, you want to be able to engage and talk to someone. So whoever's on the platform, if they'll be willing to share that knowledge with you. Also, it's 
I'm, I'm gulping out bridges, professional and personal, together. So now, let me show you guys what it would look like on, let me mirror my phone first, excuse me. <laughs> so is that a live QR code? Like people could- It is a live out. QR code, everyone. So if you wanna <laughs> go ahead and start creating your self intro video, please do. Cause I am looking for beta testers so I can get some feedback to refine the, the platform. And we're here to support startups. What better way to appreciate you guys than using their betas? Okay, let me. Oh, fancy. Yeah, now I'm connect now I mirrored my phone. I'm gonna show you the mobile version right now. Right you guys now, ready to have your mind you'd, blown? You'd click you'd click on the app and immediately it's gonna be me introducing myself. We got the Apologize, I don't know about the audio. Yeah, oh, there. Our intention is. So there's the audio. So it's just me introducing myself, and let's say you're bored of me, right? Okay, you can swipe up and learn and, and discover other people. Here's Oliver. He's a photographer and a barista. You could learn what he does. You could keep swiping up and learn who Leslie is. You could keep swiping up and, and, and discovering people who you could connect with. You could discover like minded people who have the same shared interests as you do. So, and also you could create your own, you know, you could be creative with your intro video. You could edit it and just show, hey, this is what I do. Check me out, let's connect. So then there it is, this is the mobile version. So right now I'm gonna show you how to do, how we could create a live, a, a, a live uh, intro video with everyone right now. I'm gonna open up the mobile app right now. So I'll go here, and this is, this is live right now from the QR code. So this is gonna pop up right there. It's gonna say, hey, alert, swipe up. Oops. <laughs> swipe up with your finger in order to scroll through the video. So it's just a little direction on what to do. Click OK. Someone's already introducing themselves, right? But let's say I wanna, I'm gonna create my intro video right now. So I'll click on upload my intro video. I'll go to the email. I'll go to the, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, I'll put my email on, I'll submit, boom. Now I have to go to my email, open up my email. Excuse me. There it is. I'll click on the link from the email, open that up, and it's gonna say upload video. Click on upload video, it's gonna give you some instructions on what, to, like what should you say on your intro video. And I'll click I'm ready. From there, we'll just click take a video. And it's live right now, so I'm gonna start one right now. Hey everyone, this is Martin. I'm the founder at Gulp It Out. I'm at Tech Alley. Let me show you everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone! Hello, what's, what's up? And now we're gonna, that's done. I'm gonna use, say use video, upload. While we do that, I'm just gonna type in Tech Alley. In the bottom of the subtitle, I'm just gonna put in demo and I'll submit. Boom, now it's live online. You're introduced now. How about that? <laughs> See you, right. And then if you wanna discover others, and you could, you, you'll be able to uh, be specific. If you wanna find a photographer, you'll be able to type in photographer, and what will pop up will be intro videos of uh, just nothing but photographers who you'd like to connect with. So thanks to everyone, I wanna. <laughs> All right, round of applause for Martin. Woo! Round of applause for Martin. Uh, I also want to introduce uh, my CTO, Sonny Clark. He's the one who developed, helped me develop this app. So any tech hey, questions, Sonny. go to him. <laughs> yeah. uh, Martin, I'm asking oh, you to, um, So you have a mic and he does not. And on the audio, if it doesn't come into this mic, on the interwebs, no one will hear anything. I, oh, so you can I stand will. real close to him. Maybe nose to nose. I don't know how close you guys Double are. Fisting. Yeah, there we go. Or just pass it back and forth. That's the okay, pair. So All I'm right. Here. So uh, who's got quest? All right. You, Mr. Uh, is it is it Lavosky? <laughs> <laughs> how does it handle discoverability? I understand that you can search and that there's hashtags, but it's serving up things in some order. Right. Is right. That based on location or interest, or is it Current. 
Currently... Hold up, we got to repeat the question. So how does it handle discovery? How do we find people? How do we go through... Yeah. Well, that experience is, gonna, is ongoing and we're going to refine it. Currently, it's, it's the most recent. So if you created one right now, you'll be the first one to show. You. Uh, how is it safe and secure? Oh, well, well, it says it has to be. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's also true. It has to be. So we're going to end up moderating it for sure. But uh, we believe in uh, um, uh, free speech. So, yeah. yeah I, I would add one more thing. Um, basically, it's not necessarily about the technology. A lot of the value is going to be in the curation and the moderation. But it's not necessarily about the technology per se. It's it's about the content. So a lot of people say, oh, I have this technology, that's why the app's gonna be great. It's actually just the people. You know, just like a TV is kind of blank, but what the content is, is what makes the TV valuable. And so right now, there's not really a solution for like a great LinkedIn or like business type remote. Most things on the social media is kind of like the lower brainstem, and we're trying to go to the higher brainstem, the more deep, meaningful connection. But you're right, we've got to make sure that there's no low quality stuff on the content. Now, Martin, your screen is still sharing, so we're, it's <laughs> fine, but uh, just so you know. All right, well, there we, we go. got so we uh, you. Yeah. Uh, so after the introduction, you get the introduction video, you guys, what's the next step? Like, what is the, is the go-to? Oh, yes. Yeah, so. Repeat the question. Okay, so great question. So after they make the introductory video, what's the next step? So the idea, this is like our beta. So, but the idea is that after you upload your video and you browse, you're going to connect. And that's what makes this different than any other social media. Because every other social media is about generating content. You're on TikTok to be on TikTok. This is, Martin's telling me several times, he's going to correct me even, this is about connecting with people. So the end goal is for that one-on-one -on -one video call. So the browsing is nice, but the end goal is to have a deep, meaningful interaction connecting with another human being. There's a reason why you're on there, right? You're there to accomplish something, so. Is that video called, is that inside of the app? It is, yes. I got a question for you, Martin. Yes, sir. So what I saw here when you uploaded your video is you just uploaded the video with a name and subtitle. I have two questions. So one, how do people contact you? And two, do you have a profile or no? Is the video just out there on its oh, own? Oh, great question. Yeah, this is why we're going to continue to refine the product. That eventually, you will have your own profile page. So if, if, if somebody catches your vibe and they want to learn more about you, they'll be able to click on your profile and that's where you'll have more of your videos that you want to share. That's where you could even have your portfolio or whatnot. They'll be able to learn more of who you are. So once they feel more comfortable, oh, I really, really like this person. I really want to acquire, you know, share knowledge with this person. And we'll have a button where they'll be able to contact you just like FaceTime right away, boom. And if they're on, so that's how that, that's how that connection is going to work. All right, we got one, maybe two more. Qu All right. Hey, Dan. Uh, I love the concept. Definitely need better connections. How are you going to monetize this? Because this looks like a dating app, and I'm afraid you're going to do some dark patterns. Like, how are you going to make money? Yeah. <laughs> well, so I'm going to pick Martin. Can I Martin? Can I pick on you for a second about this question? Yeah, you do anyways, man. Okay, my man. So <laughs> the question was, how does it make money? Now, something I admire the hell out of with Martin is he's unencumbered by that question. It's about making a great product and making the connection and the user experience. That's what he's told me in the past. Let's find out if he sold out. <laughs> uh, no, I'm mindful of the monetization, absolutely. Uh, but I, I, want, I want everyone to monetize too, not just the app, right? So I'm thinking about the contributors. I like to call them contributors, not users, by the way. So none of you are users, you're all contributors. We're all in, in it together, right? So, um, and how we're going to monetize, well, you, you'll be able to enhance your brand first off, you know, more people will be able to discover who you are, what you do, what you're all about. So that's one way. Uh, another way is like uh, when, when two connections happen, like there's going to be a knowledge seeker and a knowledge share, right? Somebody who reached out to the other person. So after that, that happens, right? After that connection happens, after that gulp it out happens, the, the person who, excuse me, the person who who reached out they're going to receive a prompt saying like for me 
I, I wanted to I want to gulp it out with Sonny over here and ask him questions about Tim and we have a gulp it out after we're done I'm gonna receive a prompt saying hey Martin did you find value in that collaboration and that gulp with Sonny if you did if you do uh, appreciate him I'll be able to donate because of he shared knowledge and and uh, uh, and time and effort with me right so I want I want to I'm building that appreciation um, culture on the platform so that, well, that's and, one, one of the ways right? yeah well and to tie that up so I've seen Martin's earlier presentations so this uh, this was originally and or still is a way of going and finding so for example if you want to learn painting or PHP or whatever, whatever it's a way of finding someone that has that expertise so think about that dating aspect but it's more like a mentorship so hey I'd really like a this or that and the appreciation he's referring to is the same way that a um, uh, the the butler may want a little appreciation for various things the tipping the donations uh, fun fact uh, <laughs> VC I know they passed on Amazon on a 90 uh, no not on twitch on a 97 million dollar valuation and 10 months after that it, cl it sold for 970 million dollars at 10x <laughs> in 10 months uh, the reason why they didn't invest was because they didn't think people would donate to pe watching people play video games so yeah, yeah. Uh, I would all right. A comment about we, that. It's uh, something similar to like Craigslist, like or this event, right? Why would people come to this event? Does this event make money, right? So I think it's very important. While everyone's trying to figure out how to put money first, we're trying to figure out how to connect people online. You know, so. All right, that's it. Round of applause. Thanks, Round, of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause. All right, all right. Well, while they're closing this up, one of the things that happened in the last sessions that Josh Copeland kept bravely going for a long time is at the end he thought it'd be great if there was some networking. So what I'm going to ask every one of you to do is come on down here for a moment. And what we're going to do is I'm going to transition into this. So come on down. You can get up from your seat. You don't have to. But some of you people here like each other and like asking questions. And watch this. We're going to have Sean and Trenton and Martin and Sonny right here. So you can even ask them. Some of you had questions that didn't get answered. And you can go right to it. They're right here. Everybody's right here right now. So with that, thank you for coming to Demo Time, everyone. All right.